Ça m'a fait super plaisir d'avoir tes nouvelles, ma belle. A bientôt. Hey guys, have you ever felt frustrated or stressed trying to picture having a conversation in French? Yep. Well, yep. today I'm here to give you some pointers if you're about to have a conversation in French and you feel maybe rusty, maybe you feel like you don't know enough vocabulary or you're new at learning French, well I'm going to help you to prepare you so that you can immediately have a conversation. So literally minutes within watching this video you could have a conversation in French without feeling stressed. Salut! In case you don't know me, Rochelle DeMeo from Beltier Academy. So picture this, you're about to go get lunch with a friend that you haven't seen in a while, you want to speak French to her because she's French speaking, but you kind of feel rusty. Well this exact scenario happened to me recently with an Italian friend, Daniela. Ciao Daniela! She invited me to have lunch for my birthday and as I was driving I was literally trying to think of our conversations. To be completely honest, shh. Well, I hadn't been keeping up with Italian for about a week. I hadn't really done much in Italian, so I definitely felt rusty. So here are some things that I did that helped me get right back on track knowing that I had a few minutes to prepare for this conversation I was gonna have in Italian. The same applies to French. So first thing you wanna do is think about what you're going to talk about. Seems pretty easy, but literally try out loud to already kind of rehearse the type of conversation you may have. You may know what you may discuss and maybe you're going to think about different things and I'll give you some pointers on that as well. But literally try to already rehearse the conversation that you may have. And if you can do it out loud, that is such a bonus. Honestly, it's not always possible, but if you're driving, you could be able to do that out loud, right? Second tip is if there's certain words that you don't know or don't remember, and again, you really don't have any resources around you, well, you can literally ask your phone to tell you a word in French. If you have a smartphone, just ask it to translate it. So for instance, you're trying to find the word schedule. You can't remember it for the life of you, or possibly you've never learned it. So you could literally just say, ask your phone like, hey, how would I say schedule in French? And it should say, emploi du temps. I did this with Italian. I was actually trying to think exactly of how to say schedule in Italian. So I pulled out my phone and I literally said, Comment dit-on emploi du temps en italien? En italien, emploi du temps se dit horario de tempi. Horario de tempi. So you can easily do that if you're thinking of words that you may have during that conversation and then try to repeat the word that you just learned or were refreshed in learning um, three to four times. The last thing that you wanna do is try to picture the type of conversation that person may have with you, the type of questions they may ask, the type of things they may talk about, or the responses to what you say. Now let me give you a bonus point on topics that are commonly discussed so you can already start thinking of different scripts and scenarios and rehearse those before you have a conversation in French. Before I provide you with this amazing tip, make sure that you give me a thumbs up, please subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified of our next upcoming video. So instead of possibly trying to think of every conversation that you may have, whether you're in a grocery store, just think of like the basic conversation that is going to be more meaningful that you're going to have with quite a lot of different people. So topics such as your life, your job, your family, your hobbies, and any future plans. That gives you a small list of five things where you can prepare mental scripts of conversations that you may have around those. So of course, the b biggest tip of all is learning those words. Let's say you have two children. You wanna learn how to say children, enfant, or bambini in Italian, but you may also want learn to learn things about hobbies, the things that pertain to your life, to your hobbies, so that you can easily use those in a conversation. I hope that this video has helped you to engage in a French conversation right away, just by a few pointers. A bientôt tout le monde.